Welcome to Electron Online. While I was doing the previous video, I just remembered I forgot to show where the units came from. The units for the time constant. It turns out the time constant is the product of the resistance times the capacitance, and the units of resistance are ohms, and the units for a capacitor are farads. The question is, how do we get seconds out of this product? Actually, it's easy to show you how to do that. Let's start with Ohm's. If we go to Ohm's law, we realize that in Ohm's law, the current is equal to the ratio of the voltage divided by the resistance. Or, if we change this, we can write the resistance as being the ratio of the voltage divided by the current. So from that equation, we realize that the units of Ohm's, and that's what I do, I just put little boxes around it like this, brackets, to show that these are the units. So the units of ohms equal the units of voltage, which is volts, divided by the units of current. The units of current is amps. So we can replace the units of ohms by volts divided by amps. So this can be written as the ratio of volts divided by amps. How about farads? For that, we need to go to the definition of capacitance. We know that the definition of capacitance tells us that C, the capacitance, is equal to the charge that collects on a capacitor divided by the voltage across the capacitor. And we know that the units of charge, well, that is equal to coulombs, and the units of voltage, of course, is equal to volts, which means that the units of capacitance, which is farads, can be replaced by the Coulombs divided by voltage. So here we have to be careful. This is capacitance, this is Coulombs. I'll just write it down like that. So this means Coulombs, and therefore farads can be replaced by the ratio of Coulombs divided by voltage. Now we can see that we have voltage at the numerator, voltage at the denominator, so this simplifies to so the ratio of Coulombs divided by amps. Now, amps is a unit of current. That's the number of coulombs per second, which means, let me go over here, that this can be written as coulombs divided by coulombs per second. And now we know that when we divide by a fraction, it's the same as multiplying by its inverse, so this can be written as coulombs times seconds divided by coulombs. And then since coulombs cancel out, you can see that the units for the time constant, R times C, which can be expressed as ohms times farads, can also be expressed as seconds. And that's where the units of the time constant comes from. It's indeed seconds.